Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have e-commerce. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to define e-commerce, enumerate the advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce, and apply business principles, tools, and techniques in e-commerce. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It is the exchange of information or business transactions using any form of electronic communication. A. E-commerce. B. Online business. C. Digital market. D. Online economy. The answer is A. E-commerce. 2. Below are the advantages of online business transactions, except a. Easy to pay. b. Opens 24 hours, 7 days a week. c. More product selection. d. None of the above. The answer is a. Easy to pay. 3. Below are the disadvantages of online business transactions, except a. Customer service. b. Instant satisfaction. c. Product check. d. None of the above. The answer is d. None of the above. 4. E-commerce operates in the following market segments, except a. Business to business. B. Business to consumer. C. Consumer to consumer. D. None of the above. The answer is D. None of the above. 5. It is the top online product spent by Filipinos in 2019. A. Fashion and beauty. B. Electronics. C. Food. D. Furniture. The answer is B. Electronics. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Enumerate the effects of international trade on the economy. Electronic commerce, e-commerce. E-commerce is the exchange of information or business transactions using any form of electronic communication. E-commerce operates in all four of the following major market segments, business to business, business to consumer, consumer to consumer, and consumer to business. E-commerce is facilitated through the use of electronic devices such as computers, tablets, and smartphones which may be thought of like a digital version of mail-order catalog shopping. With e-commerce, businesses may establish a wider market presence by providing cheaper and more efficient distribution channels for their products or services. Advantages of e-commerce are Convenience. E-commerce can operate 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Increased selection. Many stores offer a wider array of products online than they carry in their brick and mortar counterparts. One of the disadvantages of e-commerce is limited customer service. If you are going to buy a computer online, you cannot simply ask an employee to demonstrate a particular model's features in person. 
One of the disadvantages of e-commerce is lack of instant gratification. When you buy an item online, you must wait for it to be shipped to your home or office. One of the disadvantages of e-commerce is inability to touch the products. Online images do not necessarily convey the whole story about an item, and so e-commerce purchases can be unsatisfying when the products received do not match consumer expectations. E-commerce in the Philippines With the global pandemic, there is an increase in the demand for e-commerce in the Philippines. While the younger population embraced online shopping, the need for social distancing has pushed the cash-centric and face-to-face -face shopping culture towards a more digital one, and this is expected to continue. What is lacking is the proper digital and logistics infrastructure to truly enable a digital economy. There is a need to upgrade the bandwidth capacity to service the online market. Filipinos are prolific users of social media. Estimates this year show that there are 76 million active social media users from the Philippines. Of this number, 75 million are on Facebook, 12 million on Twitter, and 4 million are LinkedIn users. There is good reason to be optimistic about e-commerce growth in the Philippines. Kemp and Moe, 2019, released a study about e-commerce in the Philippines. According to their report, Filipinos spent a total of 4.7 billion United States dollars on online purchases in 2018, with more than three quarters of this amount, 3.5 billion United States dollars, going to online travel purchases. Online consumer goods purchases totaled just 840 million United States dollars in 2018, with electronics and physical media accounting for the greatest share within this total. The market for digital media products in the Philippines is particularly small, with the country's internet users spending just US$286 million United States dollars across video games, video on-demand services like Netflix, digital music streaming and downloads, and subscriptions to digital news and magazines. The average Filipino e-commerce shopper spent US$18 United States dollars on online consumer goods purchases in 2018, although it's worth stressing that this figure doesn't include travel-related purchases or spend on digital media. For your activities, number one, name at least five e-commerce businesses that operate in your area or within Metro Manila. Activity number two, from the list above, Choose one e-commerce business and identify its business environment and competitiveness using any of the business tools, environmental scanning, SWOT analysis, or Porter's Five Forces model. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is e-commerce? Two. What are the advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce? 2. Reflect on this. Always deliver more than expected. Larry Page. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.